I'm Charles Bennett. Can you outsmart me? I don't think so. And our contestants. An architect with a bachelor's from Occidental College in Urban Environmental Policy, Shane. A science teacher with a bachelor's from Occidental in Sociology and a master's from LMU in Educational Policy, Adam. We were a couple years ago. <laughs> and with a bachelor's from Occidental College in Economics for Business, Ian. And your host. With a bachelor's in history from Occidental College, a master's in public policy from USC, the 2007 Whittier High School valedictorian, Charles. Hello and welcome to another <laughs> episode of Outsmart Charles Bennett. I'm Charles Bennett. Tonight, the player's gonna play, the hater's gonna hate, the faker's gonna fake, and I'm gonna mutilate, mutilate, mutilate one of these contestants in the final round. <laughs> On today's episode, the best that Haynes Hall could for my college buddies, Shane Boland, Adam Davis, and Ian Bohm. Let's take a look at tonight's category. American history, talking pictures, around Washington, D.C., three clue lockout, cards against humanity, flags of the world, Don, tell them what they've won. And finally, get white cats. Shane had the high roll on the icosahedron. Shane, what category do you want? We are going to go with flags of the world. Okay. These are the colors of the flag of France, or Puerto Rico, or Cuba, or Norway, or a whole bunch of... Ian. Red, white, and blue? That's correct. Red, white, and blue. The flags of Australia, New Zealand, and Tuvalu contain this in the upper left-hand corner. Ian. Stars? No. <laughs> Shane. Stripes. No. <laughs> uh, the and British that, flag. That's correct! Oh! Jack! That's stripes! <laughs> the flag of Barbados contains this weapon of Neptune. Oh, uh, trident. That's correct! <sighs> and you gave the last correct response, Adam. Where are we going next? Uh, dead white fellas. Guys. Folks. This man was Prime Minister of the United Kingdom during his <laughs> finest hours in World War II. Winston okay. Churchill, I'm a beast. This co-author of the Federalist Papers serves as the first Chief Justice of the United States Supreme Court. Adam. James Madison? No. I don't know. Ian. James Monroe? <laughs> no. James Matt? No. <laughs> James Harden? <laughs> You're frozen. Yeah, is that your final answer? You're frozen. No. <laughs> no, you can't do two. Uh, John Jay. This English king fell at Bosworth Field. Bosworth Field. <sighs> uh, Bosworth? <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe they this need that. <laughs> this isn't the derp category. Derby? Is there a derp? <laughs> yeah. Why are we Good playing? <laughs> Dead by derps, please. You don't get any points off of you, answer. Dead so. derps? Uh, King Henry. Which uh, one? be more specific. Are you serious? No, uh, actually, don't be more there. specific. It's none of them. Okay. Well, you just give Shane the answer, then. <laughs> yeah. I was going to go King Henry, the one after Adam said, so... <laughs> Shane, you want to try this? No, I'm good. Oh, King King, King Charles II? Is it too late? Yes, you can do it again. <laughs> You're frozen out after you miss John, it. John, John. Uh, King on. Charles II? <laughs> no. The, what was the answer? The answer was Richard III. Uh, three clue knockout. Lockout. Ooh. Lockout. Don't get read. Words <laughs> are hard. Three clue lockout. <laughs> this detective miniseries stars Benedict Cumberbatch and Morgan Free Martin. <laughs> <laughs> Sherlock. That's correct. What is Sherlock? No. <laughs> Famous Shakespearean Jew. <sighs> uh, who got it? Me. Fleance? <laughs> <laughs> no, wrong play. What is that? Also, He's Fleance. A character. <laughs> Fleance was Scottish, not Jewish. Close enough. Romeo? <laughs> no. A King Lear? No. Okay, big hint. It contained Locke in the category. The correct answer, Shylock. Unfamiliar. Oh, they all have Locke. This poisonous tree proved to be the death of Socrates. 
Hemlock. That's correct. T talking pictures, please. Talking pictures? Whew. This movie could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship because we'll always have Paris. Uh, Casablanca? That's correct. Wow. Yeah. I think you looked up. <laughs> this director of the Cars and Toy Stories franchises is like me, a product of when you're high school. Buzz Lightyear. He even laughed. Uh, <laughs> Adam, that's not flying! Lying. That's falling with style! There we go. I don't know the answer. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I got him to laugh. Alex Mullen? <laughs> no. <laughs> Woody? <laughs> no. The director, not a character. John Lasseter. In the film, The Great Dictator, this actor-director pokes fun at Hitler in the Third Reich. Ian. Sasha Baron Cohen? Baron Ooh. Cohen? Mm, no. Mm, no. no. Is this his brother? Uh. Baron Cohen? <laughs> yeah, Adam, like a, you want to try this one? He's like a professor. Why would I want to try this one? <laughs> I don't know. Shane, you... Was it me? <laughs> <laughs> no. Shane, you want to get on board? Who is Adam Davis? <laughs> Charlie Chaplin. Shane, is your button working? Nope. <laughs> uh, I don't want to do American history, but we might as well get God that over. I want to do American history. American history. history. One factor <laughs> in Lyndon Johnson's decision to not seek re-election in 1968 was entanglement in this conflict. Adam. Damn it. Vietnam War. That's correct. Uh, Who's winning now? Yeah. I'm winning now. Yeah, and your buttons. For, I'm picking your button up for you. I don't have fingers. The U.S. had several of these periods of religious fervor, with the first coming in the early 18th century and the second in the early 19th. <laughs> the Puritanism stuff? No. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> the one with the R? No. I get it. <laughs> Jay, you want to bring in on this? Uh, no need. No need. Sorry. What you got? <laughs> Periods of religious fervor. <laughs> I have nothing. Religious on. awakenings. Religious, yeah, that's a great one. <laughs> okay, I'll actually give that to you. No. no, 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 no. <laughs> I said it. Okay, I'm not going to give it to you. What's the answer? What's the great answer? Great awakening. Great awakening. That's just two words. Bacon's rebellion stemmed from disaffections this class had with the colonial Virginia government. Working. <laughs> Be more specific. Uh. <laughs> uh, the working class? Is that more specific? No! Be more specific! The, the lower class? <laughs> be more specific! The working lower class? <laughs> I'm next. Working in what capacity? I know the uh, answer! Coal workers. <laughs> coal? S slavery. Slaves. Close. No. Indentured servants. God. Damn it. Damn it! You're so cocky about knowing the answer. Slaves were never there for me. <laughs> Don, tell them what they've won. In 1911, Marie Curie received her second one of these! Nobel Come Peace on. Prize. No! What? Oh, shit. Radiation poisoning. You said Nobel Peace Prize, right? That was incorrect. Radiation poisoning, Shane, you want to take Can it? I give a real one? <laughs> no. Yeah, no, 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 no. Nobel Prize. Can I take that? For science! <laughs> Shane, you have to go You want to steal from Adam? Yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> Nobel Prize for Science. That's correct. God damn it. You don't think there was any peace involved? <laughs> she won one in physics and one in chemistry. So no. <laughs> my man. My, my man. USC Trojans have won this competition 24 times, including in 1923, 1933, 1968, 2007, and 2009. Fight on. The Rose Bowl? That's correct, Ian. I knew that one. Fight on, baby. Fight on. No. <laughs> Time's yeah. first man of the year was awarded to this man who had won the Ortega Prize in aviation earlier that year. Uh, <laughs> Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> nope. Mr. Wright. Nope. There are two of them. That's why. And it's uh, nine of them, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> you just said if I don't words. know his name, I'd explain him real well. No. Oh, Lindenberg. We're not going to give it no to him. No way. What? <laughs> Lindbergh. 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 God damn it! <laughs> Who picks it? And now we're in the part where things are doubled. 
Uh, How did woo! I not get that last one? <laughs> uh, around D.C. Washington, D.C. Places I've never been. This is gonna be good. Have you been to D.C.? I live there. <laughs> On one end of the National Mall is the U.S. Capitol. On the other end is this commemorative structure used as a protest venue. Uh, uh, Vietnam Memorial. War yep. Memorial. Lincoln Memorial. That's correct, Adam. Why are people protesting there? Because Lincoln sucked. <laughs> this building where Lincoln was shot was most recently reopened in 2009. Ford Theater. I guess we'll give that to him. Why wouldn't you give that to me? How, why are you giving that to me? You don't give me answers. Is that not the Charlie? Right answer? I will. Charlie? Yeah, what's, what's the real answer? Ford's Ford. Theater. <laughs> The Metro Green Line takes you to the Navy Yard, adjacent to where this team plays 81 of its games. The yeah. Washington Nationals. That's correct. Uh, this is the hardest part. Uh, Cards Against Humanity. I had to remember, yes. to rem I had to remember which category was left. <laughs> An ace and queen <laughs> has a piss score in that 21. He punched my hand away from the buzzer. It's called he has an offensive strategy. I <laughs> picked up your buzzer off the ground for that you. That was a rookie mistake. And he punched <laughs> me in the nuts. That is on you, Bob. I didn't punch you in the nuts. I, I punched you in the nuts. Oh. Sorry, sorry. A deck of these includes the Ten of Wands, the Queen of Cups, the Tower, and Dead. Fuck, Shane got it. Shane. Got it? Yeah. Tarot cards? Yes! Wow, Shane! <laughs> My favorite card game is this gin rummy variant that involves melds of seven cards. Rummy 500? Uh, close, but no. Rummy 400? <laughs> okay, it's a variant of Rummy 500, but it... it, it, it comes down more Ian, bring it. He got his. And I was right. <laughs> gin rummy 500. Canasta. <laughs> I guess oh, I, I was wrong. I've never... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that yeah. game is. So. Yeah. And it looks like Ian Bone will be facing me in the final round. Stick around with me right back. <sighs>Parks and Rec, Oxy, and 420. Charles, you have first pick. Hmm, I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going with Parks and Rec. Parks and Rec, all right. What, was I supposed to go with Oxy? Uh, I'm not going to do any of those well, so it does not matter. All right, Charles will go first in this category, and I will have each of you <coughs> name United States National Parks. Oh, good, it's what I thought it was. Uh, really? Great Basin. A Grand Canyon. Um, Saguaro. Old Faithful. Old Faithful is not a national park. It's not. I knew that. So that is incorrect. Charles, you can get a bonus point with another correct answer. Black Canyon of the Gunnison. Oh, I thought you were going to, uh, to slam it in his face by telling him the national park that Old Faithful is a part of. It's part of Yellowstone, but I wanted That's to say meant, some obscure Yellowstone. national park like uh, Black Canyon of the Gunnison. I didn't say final answer. So, Ian. This is not good. You get your choice of the next category. Uh, 420. Ian, since this is your category, you will be going first. Ah, uh, can I just pass? <laughs> you probably don't want to pass. That'll uh, mean you lose. May I get it? Pass. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, and this one's a little different. I'll be asking you a question and giving the answer to that question. All right. The first question for you, Ian. This American private college was founded on April 20th, 1887. Occidental College. Correct. Did you know that, Charles? Yes, of course. I know, because you just told me right before we started taping. <laughs> Good job. All right, Charles, your question. This Austrian-born chancellor of Germany was born on April 20th, 1889. Hitler. 420 is a popular time to smoke this psychoactive drug. Marijuana. In the nursery rhyme, sing a song of sixpence. Four and twenty of these are baked into a pie. Four and twenty blackbird. On April 20th, 1999, uh, Eric and Dylan killed 13 people in, uh, and then themselves at this American high school. Columbine. This actor, born April 20th, 1937, played Hikaru Sulu on Star Trek. George Takei. This actor, born April 20th, 1964, played George McFly in Back to the Future, but not the sequels. 
George McFly, not Marty. Correct. Which one was George? Was that the father? Yeah. Can you repeat the question? This actor, born April 20th, 1964, played George McFly in Back to the Future, but not in the sequel. 37, you said? No. Oh, this question the one before was off. 37. This actor, born April 20th, 1964, 1964, played George McFly in Back to the Future, but not in the sequels. Glad you got this one. Yeah, me too. Not in that clip. Uh, 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 Alex Mullen. Uh, the correct answer was Crispin Glover, but I just assumed. Oh, I was going to say Danny that. Glover. I really was. I was going to say Danny Glover. Uh, th- this actor and director, born April 20th, 1964, is famous for his roles in the Lord of the Rings trilogy, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and the 2005 oh, King Kong. Castile. Don't break that. Don't break that. This actor and director, born April 20th, 1964, is famous for his roles in the Lord of the Rings trilogy, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and the 2005 King Kong. I know this, Charles. I can see it in your eyes, even though you're not making eye contact. Give me five seconds. Orlando Bloom? No, Orlando Bloom. <laughs> Incorrect. Well, you didn't get the bonus point on that one, uh, just for fun. Andy yeah. Circus. Correct. Andy Circus. Uh, Ian, you'll be going first in this category. This category is Oxy. And uh, Oxy will have something to do with the answers. So, Ian, your first question. Oxy clean. This element has the atomic number eight. Oxygen. This semi-synthetic opioid is a Schedule II controlled substance in the U.S. Oxycontin? This line of house, uh, house cleaners was originally marketed through infomercials with Billy Mays. <laughs> oh, what is this? What is it? Oh, Oxy, OxyClean. Correct. <laughs> a chemical compound containing at least one oxygen atom and one other element is this. It's any chemical compound containing at least one oxygen atom and one other element. Is that an oxide? Correct. This is the term for the loss of electrons by a molecule, atom, or ion. Oxidation? Correct. Oh my God. Paul Bunyan's companion. <laughs> Babe the Blue Ox. Correct. The oldest university in the English-speaking world with no known foundation date. Oxford? This female sports fashion clothing launched in 1990 as the sister company to Quicksilver. Don't look at me. I don't know anything about fashion, Fox? V-O-X-X? Incorrect, it was Roxy. Roxy. All right, for the bonus point. This American private college has the motto, the West is nearest the East. American private Occidental College. That's correct. (laughs) For for the record, I know that. It's it's Orientis, Pox, or Occidentus, or something like that. Yeah, and for the record, I got two questions where the answer was Occidental so far. (laughs) All right, they have agreed on econ as the final category to break the tie. The challenger will be going first on this one. I will give you the country, and you'll oh, give me the currency no. that that country uses. Oh, no. All right. America. Please tell me United States of America. <laughs> Ian, your first one? Yep. Austria. <laughs> the euro? Correct. Okay. That's a lot. That was easier than I thought it was. All right. Charles, United Kingdom. The British pound. Correct. Great, great British pound. Just saying. <laughs> it's pretty great. Um, <clears throat> Ian, Mexico. Peso. Correct. Charles, Japan. Yen. Correct. Ian, yes. Canada. Canadian dollar. Correct. Right. Charles, Russia. Uh, Ruble. Correct. Ian, 
Switzerland. Swiss franc. Right. Charles, Sweden. I know this one. I know this one. Sweden's on the arrow, aren't they? No! <laughs> they are not. <laughs> no! <laughs> Sweden can is... Can I say Can I say what it is? You can say it. It's the krona. The krona. What up, yo? I'm not giving you points for that one, but you can get for your bonus point. <laughs> Tanzania. <laughs> Uh, Tanzania. Uh, the Tanzanian dollar? Uh, the Tanzanian shilling. Shilling, shh. You didn't get the bonus point, but you just barely beat Charles. You have outsmarted Charles. Did any of the other winners outsmart Charles? The people on the leaderboard? No, uh, one has in the movie category, but this is the first in a flat out game. I can't believe this <laughs> happened. I can believe it. Look at the hat. With the lowest score. Of any competitor on Outsmart Charles. It's not how you finish. <laughs> no, 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 any winner. Any, any victor- winner on Outsmart Charles. 1,000, uh, the lowest score of any winner on Outsmart Charles, 1,390 points. Ian, you have outsmarted Charles. This is going on my resume. Thank you. Charles, hi, Charles, come in here. Come here. How does that feel, Charles, to be it outsmarted by me? That I... How did you not know the Swedish currency? Because I thought they were on the euro. No, it's not even in Europe. Yes, it is! You're you're not a geography major. Thank you for watching. Shout out to the geography majors. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to be a contestant on Outsmart Charles, please write us at magic8tv at gmail.com. Check out the hat.